How many of you have experienced sexual abuse in your life? Can I just have... Wow, so that's like two-thirds, probably? Three, two-thirds, probably, of our room. There's over 100 people here, so that's quite a lot of people, isn't it? Now, a lot of times we ask ourselves, well, how did that happen to me? Well, how it happened to us is that our parents did not resolve their sexual injuries. That's how it happened. And the reason why that happens is like that is because when our parents don't resolve their sexual injuries, they actually attract events to themselves which cause them to trigger those injuries. And for many of our parents, they've also been abused sexually. Or they have sexual shame issues to work through or sexual guilt issues to work through and so forth. And unfortunately, when they have a child, those children automatically have that imprint of those emotions on them. And so that's why as children we often attract those kind of abuse issues. So anything to do with sexual control, sexual powerlessness, sexual abuse of our own children, or sexual abuse generally to ourselves, all of those events are law of attraction events that are there to help us work through some sexual abuse issues within ourselves or sexual identity issues within ourselves. Unfortunately, because there's a lot of spirits involved in the whole process, often what happens with sexual abuse is spirits get involved in the sexual abuse process. So of all of you who have been sexually abused, when, it, when you were little, how many of you noticed the spirits who were involved in the process? Can I just have the hands there? So only one. And yet, in every single case, spirits were involved in that process of sexual abuse. So, um, the issue that we often face is that we lose our spirit connection with abuse as well. Does that make sense? If you, you feel the person going into a different state, the person who's abusing you going into a different state that's actually influenced by spirits, what happens is you also become very afraid of feeling what those spirits are feeling as well. Now, all of these things occur because of the law of attraction of the parents sexual injuries. So can you see how important it is as parents to work through our sexual injuries? Because it, it, it assists us greatly and assists our children greatly in having a sexual identity that isn't harmed by these kind of events. 